Hi everyone, this is Grace and happy Friday. As you can see, it was a very good Tuesday morning week for me and um, it was so fun because I got to see Love Lovekins hang out with her at Tuesday morning, Glendora this week. And what was really funny was as she and I were checking out, we ran into my crafty colleague, and so Love Lovekins got to meet crafty colleagues, so that was such a blast. Um, thank you so much, by the way, LL, for coming on, you know, coming up to Glendora and certainly spending some time with me. I certainly appreciated that, especially because it was such a great break between classes. Anyway, this is a combination of um, Mondays. No, it wasn't Monday. What was it? It was Tuesday. It was just so packed like classes and, you know, meetings and such that by the time I got done on Tuesday, Pasadena store usually has her shipment out by Monday, but I decided to treat myself on Tuesday um, and just take some retail therapy. So um, let me share with you a lot of this is from the paper pads here are the can can company paper pads are from Pasadena, but majority of this is from Glendora, so I will share this with you. Isn't this beautiful? I got this primarily because of a cuckoo clock. I don't have a cuckoo clock um, stamp. And then there's this too, the drawer stamp. So th I thought that was pretty. And of course, this rose is beautiful. This is my mind's eye. And here we go, 2074183. And what was really funny was um, Love Lovekins and I were talking, and the ladies at our store are really great. They let us go through the cart, and that is the best, you know, when you can go through the cart, because that means you get first dibs. I thought this was really pretty. Hello there, beautiful. Ooh la la, chic. Just, this is the Gal Meets Glam, My Mind's Eye. And again, at two ninety nine, how can you beat that price? Two zero seven four one eight zero. And as always, I will have the SKU locator number down in the description bar. This, I can't remember who I saw haul this, but I thought it was so cute and I was hoping I could find it because it would be so great to do for, um, look how cute that is. So I thought that this would be so great to um, use for scrapbooking, for cards, especially for Christmas. How cute is it that the ornaments are shaped like Mickey Mouse ears? Anyway, this is 2106348. For four ninety nine, and then this one I believe was actually from the Pasadena store. So two one one four three seven four. I purchased something like this many years ago, um, several years ago from eBay, and um, because it was from um, a China um, Chinese seller. When I first got them, they were fine, but then I think over a few years, they just, the the stamps don't stick to my um, block anymore. And so when I saw this, I picked these up because how cute are these little guys? And hopefully these will stick very well. Um, this is Nola Blake Imports. Can you believe it's a dollar forty nine two one one four three seven four? But just a lot of cute little border stamps, so pick that one up. This I thought was beautiful. Look at how beautiful that would cut. So this is Floral Dreams Die 2097918. Yep, that's what, eight. And then from Crafter's Companion, thought this was beautiful. The notes and then the saxophone. And then the sentiment reads, we all have our own song to sing. So... Two dollars and nineteen cents. Great deal, huh? Two zero nine seven eight nine zero. And then this is two zero nine seven eight nine six. And honestly, I bought it for this. But it's such a whimsical little um fairy thing to make cards, right? Now, um, these are the six that are available. The one that I picked up is this, of course, but. I saw someone haul this, and how cute are these little fairy houses? So, um, trying to look for this, but who knows if I'll find it. They did have this at the Glendora store, but I passed on it because I'm not as big a unicorn fan. But these two, we shall see if I can find them. The hunt is on, right? 
Um, here's this. This is Rapunzel as a stamp set. And I just thought that these stamps were really cute. So I love that. Best day ever. 2106361. And then they had Harry Potter. And so I picked up two. One to give as a gift. But 2106363. Oh, I love this. He who must not be named. That's cute. And then look. There's Dobby and then the sorting hat. So I do have some friends who are big Harry Potter fans. So I thought it would be nice to just have a Harry Potter, you know, stamp set. Now these you'll notice I bought a bunch of them because um, I'm going to be using these for um, gifts for, you know, my crafty colleague and a few other things. So it's really pretty. It's like epoxy stickers, I think. But they're floral. And look how beautiful the designs are. Birds and butterflies. And here's another bird and floral. So 2106420. These are called floral icons. Dimensional stickers. How cute are they? So what was interesting was I knew that they didn't have this at Glendora. So um, Love Lovekins and I, um, after we were done shopping at Glendora, I took her to my car and thankfully I had not taken um, my the previous night's um, shopping from Pasadena out of the car and so I was able to pass along a sticker pack for her. Now take a look this is the Kane Company Smash Label Maker 2106448 Do you remember a while back when I had hauled a bunch of these decorative tapes? I totally bought them because I thought that I had I could find the label maker and I can't find it so when this came out I jumped on it because now I can definitely make use of those really nice um, you know tape I guess and look I bought this because I thought that this would be great not necessarily for um, labeling of like storage boxes because I have my own label maker you can actually see it right there but the fact that I can use this for like scrapping, scrapbooking purposes. So anyway, they had a whole bunch of ephemera. This is a combination of Glendora and Pasadena. So, um, but I thought I would share some of these with you because these are simply gorgeous for card making, for scrapbooking, for, you know, all these things. There's 58 pieces, 2106440 for $1.49. Um, there was this one. There are 60 pieces here. So 2106443. And then they have some acetate pieces here too, which I thought was fabulous. Oh my goodness. They're all the same skew. Did you guys notice that? Oh, that's not going to help you guys. So sorry. Anyway, that's the skew for some of these um, decoupage, you know, ephemera pieces so I guess you'll have to try to see if you can find it that way oh this is different so two one zero six four 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 and then this is two one zero six four four five and look how brilliant these are so a combination of acetate as well as paper and you can tell because look ta da and I love this because then you can use this for um, something else. You don't have to just throw that away. And then pick this up. I do love these old um, clipper ships. So this is 2106438. And these are the designs. And then this one, 2106439. So again, these are the designs that you'll get with those. So a lot of really great ephemera pieces. Then this was the other one that I purchased at the Pasadena store, but that the Glendora store did not have. So 2106416. So I picked one up for my crafty colleague. And I love Lovekins got one. <laughs> the benefits of seeing me after a Tuesday morning run. Um, these are, again, more ephemera pieces, 2106430, 24 pieces. Aren't they beautiful? Look at how the shine on that. 
And then this one is um, cameras and other things. So 2106432. So pretty, right? Hold on, something fell. All right, now this was the um, pack that fell, and these are the really beautiful, like, glittery um, butterflies. I know that last week I had um, picked up some butterflies, but they weren't the glittery kind, and they were a little bit darker in hue than this, so this is definitely much more, like, it's brighter. So 2106429. Okay, so those are all my ephemera now. Um, they also had this, and this was only a dollar ninety nine. Here, let me give you this. Um, so two one zero six eight four six. This is how many pounds are you? I think this is supposed to be sixty five pounds. Anyway, the reason why I picked this up is, as you can see, this is inkjet, and look at that like shimmery shine on this. So I've been wanting to have like thicker paper that can run through my laser printer or inkjet and the cardstock when I run it through my laser printer just it it, it, it kind of comes off. So I'm hoping that the silver pearl sheet, there's 30 of these, will work well. And then I did find some K and Company paper. Um here, you guys can stop if you need to look at this two one zero six four I think one four this is three ninety nine I love the King Company because again it is double sided but look how beautiful this is I love the hues of blue and gold yellow look at that so pretty. So pick that one up and of course you get the sampling here. Now the other K and Company paper pad that I picked up was this. It doesn't look as impressive on first glance, but let me show you, okay? And the skew on this one is 2106413. When I saw this, I thought this would be such a great paper pad to use for my nephew's scrapbook. Do you see how it's a little bit more masculine? I mean, he's going to love this train. But the one paper pad that the paper design that really sold me, oh, look how gorgeous that ship is. All right, is this not awesome? Do you guys see this? This is a really thick acetate sheet of just luggage. How beautiful is that? I love vintage luggage if you haven't figured it out. And then there's all these stamps, so you can use this as a background or cut each of these little stamps and use them for embellishments. So awesome. So yeah, so I bought this, um, and of course there's this peekaboo piece. So I picked this up for my nephew. You know what's really great about this too is you can use this cover, cut this and use it for um, shaker bits and stuff. Hold on. All right, now let me um, share with you these little single 25, you know, piece um, paper pads, 2077199. Again, I don't know if I would pay that much for it, but 299 is a great deal. I like these because these are double-sided, but look at this. Da, 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 da. How cute would this be for, like, boys' birthday cards or things like that or scrapbooks? So pick this up. And then they had one for coffee. How adorable is this coffee? So again, thought this would be a really great background for a card or scrapbook. So two zero two one zero five eight nine eight, I believe. Hold on. Two one zero five eight nine eight. Sorry about that, guys. Literally, <laughs> my left eye is very blurry, so. Um, we're going to try to fix that with that, you know, third eye surgery. But anyway, um, this is 2105896 for $2.99. And look how cute it is, the flamingo. And again, these are double-sided, so you can use this in the back if you like that design. Same with the coffee. If you don't like that, you can use this. And I love how you can use this little strip as well. So there's that. And then the last paper pad, because I've already shown you the Can Company one, is this. And it was so funny because it's the black dot. 
uh, when my when I saw my crafty colleague and she was looking at what I had gotten, she was like, oh, are there any more of these? And I, I told her, don't worry, I'll share them with you because I certainly can um, afford to share when I have 25 of the same design, right? Anyway, this is 2105896. And the back of this is really nice too. That gingham, right? Anyway, this was my crazy Tuesday morning haul for this week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you are, this, you know, gives you some idea of what things may be popping up in your stores. Um, the SKU locator number, as far as I know, in my area, still continues to work, even though it may not be as accurate. Because, again, you know, the um, inventory is only good as, what, the, like, a day before closing or something like that. So, but, yeah, I am totally, I know I shocked some of you by buying a lot of ephemera, but I am totally now appreciating the beauty of the ephemera pieces. Um, especially with my little youth kids, when we craft, those kids do not like to stamp, nor do they like to color. And so these ephemera pieces are really great because then I can teach them how to make a little bit more adult looking cards that um, we can sell during the card fundraiser. And, you know, I did think about just um, subscribing, like a, doing a year's subscription to Paper Pumpkin so that I can use those card making kits with the kids the youth kids for craft day, but I was thinking as great as it is, it's cheaper for me to put together my own kit using some of the ephemera pieces that I can purchase from Tuesday morning. So I think we're going to try that and um, hold off on getting a year subscription to Paper Pumpkin. So um, yeah, and the thing is once celebration ends, you know, the incentive for me to get that diminishes because you know with celebration you get that freebie and that's kind of the benefit but anyway just wanted to come on here and share this with you um stay tuned this weekend for a number of videos um i have certainly happy mail that's come in from kathy and love lovekins and um hold on who else i think cindy and a few other people, so um, stay tuned. I know Marie said that she was going to send some stuff too, and so I'm hoping they should arrive, um, give and take one, you know, or two days because of the mail forwarding that I have with my USPS. But yeah, so we'll have those certainly, and then I also have another Etsy tote bag haul. So those of you who are interested in the Firefly Cl Collective um, Etsy shop, I ended up um, finding an Edna tote. How cute is that? You know, the Incredibles Edna tote. Yep, I am one of those people who watches the Incredibles or watched the Incredibles. Not for the Incredibles themselves, but for Edna. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Certainly um, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. God bless.